In these times, the Great Recession is probably the great equalizer. Uh, it's, it's not about size, it's about adaptability. Um, I mean, it plays exactly to small companies because we can move like this. If we have to change a configuration, we don't have to send it to a committee that looks at it and goes to a task force that takes it to the board and then they look at it again. We don't have to do any of that. We can move from, from idea to decision in a reasonably short period of time. So we have to play to who we are. We're a small company and we have to move quickly and I think there are a lot of folks in the audience who understand exactly what I'm saying. We built our program on, on four very important things. One is being safe and secure. And you know, I always say it has to pass the grandparent test. My, my grandchildren have to be able to go on that airplane. And it's a lot more stringent than the CAA or the FAA or anybody else. We have to have a great product. We have to have a low cost platform because without that, we will never have oxygen during these difficult times. And we have to have great marketing. And I think we started out with three really good ones here. We haven't done great marketing yet. So the challenge is still before us there. We thought we'd build it and they would come. Well, we built it and they're starting to come. And they're starting to be very happy too. Um, we, you know, it's, it's not for us to sell to everybody. There'll be people in Paris, New York, and Amsterdam who'll say, I've never heard of your airline, but frankly, you don't need to. It's really for that, sink, you know, that focused area that we'll have. I think we'll be successful in 10 years and there'll still be a big chunk of a population who will never have heard about us. Our distribution we've done through the website, GDSs, and, and we've learned to leverage uh, some of the BA distribution channels. That's been both good and not so good. We were very reliant on that when in fact we needed to spread our wings a little bit and be the, our own separate brand so that we could have some contrast to what we're doing with British Airways. And you know, for us, this is just a glimpse of, of what the, the airplane looks like. We have two products. This is an all, a unique all business airline with two products. We have a bed on the left and a seat on the right. It's not fancy, they're just the best products in this category at the best prices from those two cities, flat out, period. And it's the little things uh, that matter. It's things like La Durée, who, the, the, the baker that in France that actually invented the macaroon. And if you've never had a La Durée macaroon, oh, you're missing a treat. One of those guys in a glass of milk is heaven. Absolute heaven. It's those little things. It's, it's not, this is not brain surgery, but it is you know, giving travelers, the people who really understand you know, what it's like to travel, give them the right food, give them, make, it, make sure it's fresh with the right wines, all those things that frankly you don't get on legacy carriers. So we're not like everybody else. Um, we have a, a number of, uh, of groups. One is the Perry Yorker, and, and these, are, these are little groups that form their own little um, sub-social groups. And, they're, oh, and it, what we're finding out more and more is that these groups are connecting with one another, even though they're separate, but at a certain point in time, they all come together as one. And then our, our segment and our voice all of a sudden gets much louder. And it starts out with just these little, so whether it's the fashion group or whether it's science and technology, whether it's the farmer group, how all these people who are in the know, in the vanguard in travel, and how they work it through. So the big question for any company is the customers like what you do. They gotta like what you do. If, if they don't, you got it wrong. Uh, there's another important question too, and can you make money doing it? Uh, sometimes we forget that one. <laughs> uh, we think we, uh, we, we've got something right and we think we can make money doing it. Uh, we work really hard at this. Uh, we've had a chance to, to listen very carefully to customers. I've just written some abbreviated ones. I've heard from customers after the first week, somebody write, writes me a letter and says, don't change a flippin' thing. I wrote back and said, that's not the spirit of our business. We're going to keep changing things. Sometimes we're going to get it right. Sometimes we may not get it right. But we're going to keep changing our business. Has to. It's, it's terrible to, to, to grow up, to aspire to be average. If you're going to be a leader, it means every now and again you're going to trip and stumble a little bit. And that's part of what we're going to do. But I, I've had travel writers 
repeatedly say on the, on the telephone, one from Time Magazine said, Dale, this is the way it should be for everybody. And you know, there are folks who talk about the market's down, and the market is down, no kidding around, the market's down. If the market is down in Paris, 30% between Paris and New York, and if, and if, the, and if the market who, who were flying knew that we were there, we don't have enough seats to take care of that need. So our key tasks as a little business is to establish our brand and create awareness. That's a really important thing, whether it's online or, or, or traditional, it is absolutely to do that. To husband cash like, uh, like everybody in this room is doing. Uh, and I think there are probably two kinds of people. There are those who are doing that and there are those who are fibbing or lying. Um, and make size work for us in this time. We're nice and small, and we can be nimble. We've got four airplanes, 217 people. We can move quickly and never lose sight of the fact that we have to manage cost. Never. I think these are pretty basic. You know, move, move quick without rushing. Um, one company, one agenda. Now, you know, we're a very young company, but already we have two cultures. We have the Lavion culture and the Open Skies culture. If you think a merger, irrespective of the size of a company, is easy, it's not. There's a lot of pride. There's a lot of, a lot of personal issues that go into that. The good news is that we, we say to ourselves, we're one company, one team, one plan. And so it goes. The last one I just want to draw your attention to, which is to be close to BA, but not too close. We, we, we love our shareholder, but our, our role is to be a contrast to them so that they can learn and we can learn. To be the same as BA or to be a little BA is not serving anyone's purpose. And I'll end with this, this quote from, uh, uh, I think it's an African proverb from, um, Tom Friedman's book, The World is Flat, let me read it to you. Every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up. It knows it must run faster than the fastest lion or it will be killed. Every morning, a lion wakes up and it knows it must outrun the slowest gazelle or it will starve to death. It doesn't matter whether you're a lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, you better start running. And I'm sure everybody in this room understands that. Business today is, um, is a contact sport. Uh, we've, we've learned so much. And, you know, after being in, in, in the marketing arena for 30 years, I would have thought that my learning curve would have flattened out a little bit. But my learning curve today is as vertical as it was 30 years ago. And that's a humbling thing to admit. That's a humbling thing to admit. Um, on the one hand. On the other hand, it's exciting as hell. It really is. So I, uh, I thank you all for the opportunity to talk to you about our little company. At the, I, I'm sp we've got a little talkback session here, which should be great fun. Um, I even gave them a couple of questions that some of the uh, journalists, I hope you don't ask those questions, though. But I'd be ready if you do. Anyway, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.